In this video, we are going to talk about absolute phrases. He sat watching the movie, tears rolling down his cheeks. The manager finally arriving from Canada, he was able to start the meeting. The project finished, the employees were allowed to go home. All of these are examples of absolute phrases. An absolute phrase has a noun, plus a participle, plus an optional modifier and or an object. The sentence always makes sense without the absolute phrase. Let's look at this sentence again. The project finished, the employees were allowed to go home. The absolute phrase in this sentence are the words, the project finished. The main sentence is, the employees were allowed to go home. The sentence, the employees were allowed to go home, makes sense without the absolute phrase. The phrase explains or modifies more about when the employees were allowed to go home. This is what an absolute phrase does in a sentence. Now, an absolute phrase can be just two words, such as in this example fingers trembling. You can see that there is a noun followed by a participle. In this case, the participle is a present participle ending in ing. We can also have an absolute phrase that looks like this. His arms filled with books. In this phrase, we have the noun and a participle. This time, a past participle, ending in ed. But we also have some modifiers, some words that describe whose arms and what his arms were filled with. We can also have a longer phrase, such as this one. Their boots dripping mud onto the floor. Here again, we have a noun and a participle, as well as a modifier at the beginning of the sentence. But we also have a direct object. The boots were dripping with what? They were dripping mud. We also have some more words that modify where the mud was dripping onto the floor. All of these are examples of absolute phrases that give more information or modify another main sentence. Let's use our examples in a sentence. Fingers trembling, the manager approached the president's office. The main sentence here is, the manager approached the president's office. How did he approach? Fingers trembling. The phrase explains or modifies more about the main sentence about how the manager approached the office. Let's look at another example. He came back from the library his arms filled with books. The main sentence here is, he came back from the library. How did he come back from the library? His arms filled with books. Again, this phrase modifies the whole sentence and explains how he came back from the library. Their boots dripping mud onto the floor, the children returned from their hike in the woods. The main sentence here would be, the children returned from their hike in the woods. How did they return? Their boots dripping mud onto the floor. Let's review again what an absolute phrase is. An absolute phrase is a group of words that modifies a complete sentence, not just one word. Although it can come at the end of a sentence, it is usually found at the beginning and is followed by a comma. The main part of an absolute phrase is a noun or a pronoun and a participle. The modifiers can be an adjective, an object, or a prepositional phrase. It is used more in fiction writing than in nonfiction writing. However, it can be used in academic writing as well. 
So how can you find an absolute phrase in a sentence? Let's look at this sentence. His orders completed, the manager left the office. You can see here that there's a past participle, the word completed, in the phrase at the beginning of the sentence. This is the absolute phrase. Let's look at another sentence. The goals being met, the company made good profits in the last quarter. The word being is a clue that this is an absolute phrase, but it can be written without it, like this. The sales goal met, the company made good profits in the last quarter. So how do we write absolute phrases? One way to do this is to remove the be verb. In the middle of the speech, one contestant came running to the stage. His face was covered with sweat. To combine these two sentences, we would need to remove the be verb, the word was. It would then look like this. In the middle of the speech, one contestant came running to the stage, his face covered with sweat. You can see that we've included a comma before the absolute phrase. Another way to write an absolute phrase is to change the main verb in the sentence to an ing form. Let's look at this example. In the second meeting, the atmosphere became even worse. The managers argued and complained about each idea. You can see in the second sentence that the main verbs are argued and complained. We can change these to the ing form and then combine these two sentences in this way. In the second meeting, the atmosphere became even worse. The manu managers arguing and complaining about each idea. Can you find the absolute phrase in these sentences? His objective accomplished the company president drove back to the headquarters to report the good news. Can you see that the absolute phrase is at the beginning of this sentence? And it could have been written in two sentences in this way. The company president drove back to the headquarters to report the good news. His objective was accomplished. You can see that the be verb has been removed. In the absolute phrase. Try this sentence. On September 14th, with three days remaining, Thomas, Nelson, and Jones, all of them eager with excitement and anxious for the results, watched the progress carefully. Again, you should be able to see that we could write the second part of this sentence in this way. On September 14th, with three days remaining, Thomas, Nelson, and Jones watched the progress carefully. All of them were eager with excitement and were anxious for the results. So an absolute phrase is a group of words that modifies a complete sentence, not just one word. Try using some of these types of phrases in your writing. If you want help with other types of phrases, I also have videos about how to write participial phrases as well as gerund phrases. I hope you'll check those out too. Happy writing! And be sure to check out my workbooks that are designed to be used along with these videos.